And yesterday, officially here in Tulsa, we picked up a little over two inches of rainfall. So far for the month of August, 2.01 inches of rain. That brings our yearly total, though, up over 20 inches of rainfall still behind. But we have caught up just a little bit, still running about 4.8 inches behind in terms of our yearly rainfall. And the good news, we have several more chances for rain and thunderstorms coming up here in eastern Oklahoma over the next six or seven days. Heat advisory today, noon until 8 p.m., south central, southeast Oklahoma, generally south of I-40. If you live north of I-40, not under any advisories, we expect the heat index values to stay below 105 degrees, but it's still going to be very warm, very humid as we move on through the day today. We are seeing a few sprinkles and showers out there across northeast Oklahoma. Not terribly impressive, but again, we are seeing a few of those heavier rainfall, though, up to the north and to the west of us. We're seeing from Wichita through Hutchinson, Kansas to Emporia and up around Kansas City showers and thunderstorms. Now, most of this activity is lifting off to the east northeast. So you folks in southeast Kansas that are seeing a few showers and some thunderstorms north and east of Independence right now, you have the highest chance of seeing more rain and storms, but we could see a few additional showers and thunderstorms develop on the south end of this area across extreme north, central, and northeast Oklahoma as it drifts to the north and to the east. So generally north of Highway 412 has the highest opportunity of seeing some showers and storms through the morning hours, but the highest chances will be across southeast Kansas as we move through the morning hours. Here's a live look down in McAllister. We're seeing partly cloudy skies at this time as we're looking over the city, looking good this morning down in Pittsburgh County and back here in the Tulsa area from the Jinx Middle School in South Tulsa. Looking off to the north, you know, the Cityplex Towers are we're seeing mostly cloudy skies here in Tulsa and much of northeast Oklahoma extending up into southeast Kansas. Midtown Cam looking back towards downtown and again, mostly cloudy skies out there, a few sprinkles and showers here in the metro. Otherwise, it's a dry start, warm and humid start as well. 76 degrees, high humidity level, 97 percent. Winds currently out of the east, southeast and light at three miles per hour. Here's a look at temperatures across the rest of the metro. For the most part, we're in the mid 70s, fairly uniform with the temperatures as warm as 77 degrees in Sepulpa and in Bixby, 74 in Owasso, Collinsville, Claremore and in Uligaw. Some lower 80s still showing up just south of I-40 right around Eufaula over to Stigler, 79 in McAllister, 75 in Tahlequah. You notice temperatures are a little bit cooler as you move to the north and east, only 72 in Coffeyville and 73 degrees in the Bartlesville area. Temperature wise, 69 up in Kansas City and 66 in Columbia, Missouri. So that's where the coolest of the temperatures are. You move to the south and west, temperatures generally warming. Dallas right now at 83 degrees. We have a weak front across eastern Oklahoma at this time, and it's going to slowly drift back to the north over the next 24 hours. And that front is going to be the focus for showers and thunderstorms, at least the potential as we move through the day today, tonight, and again tomorrow before this front finally lifts on out. So on future track, you notice it is showing at least a chance of a few showers and storms across extreme northern Oklahoma and southeast Kansas during the morning hours. We'll see a bit of a break and then as we move into the afternoon with the heat, humidity, more showers and thunderstorms will be possible as this front still lingers in the area as we move through the afternoon hours. So you notice a little bit warmer across southeast Oklahoma, south of this front. Not quite as hot to the north, but still very warm here in northeast Oklahoma. We're still going to see those temperatures today in the low to mid 90s north of the front. Then as we move through the overnight, that front still in the area. We'll still see a chance for showers and thunderstorms across eastern Oklahoma, and that'll continue tomorrow as well. But the front will finally lift on out of here as we move on into tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. So the chance of rain will drop off for Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we'll see a more significant front finally dropping on in by late in the work week. That'll give us another chance for showers and thunderstorms at that time. Here's a look at what we're expecting for today through the morning hours. About a 50-50 chance of showers and storms from Ponca City to Bartlesville, southeast Kansas, 60%. Grove and Joplin. Then as we move through the afternoon hours, there will be a chance for some showers and thunderstorms really area wide. But the highest likelihood would be just off to the east of Tulsa from prior to Tahlequah down into East central sections of the state. As you move to the south and west, you notice the chance of rain starts to drop off. Only 30% in McAllister, just a 10% chance in Oklahoma City. Hottest temperatures today, generally I 40 to the south, upper 90s expected from Oklahoma City to McAllister to Poto. Cooler temperatures to the north and east. Coffeyville only 86, the high temperature today. And we'll see a southeast wind and that 40% chance of rain and storms here in the Tulsa area. That continues tonight and again tomorrow. 95 the high. Both today and again tomorrow, chance of rain starts to diminish Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures start to rise 98 Wednesday, 99 on Thursday. Then here comes another chance of rain and storms Friday into the weekend as that stronger cold front moves in and only at 92 for the high on Saturday. So very warm, very humid week ahead with those occasional shower and thunderstorm chances. Yet another week of some pretty hot heat there. Yep, right here in the middle of August. We know about four or five weeks left is all we have before we finally start to cool things off. I am looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm ready for fall myself. <laughs> Thank you, Tab. Right. Well, Donald Trump is